What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Law for DIYWebStrategy.com. And today we are going to talk about how to stay um, anonymous using Windows 10. Um, there are two options uh, that I just kind of recently stumbled upon uh, in another video that I watched um, that were being debated upon. And that is the difference between VPN and the Tor or Onion Router network. And um, what I found was, because I was using a VPN before, um, actually it was a free VPN service, and I probably will do a video about free VPN uh, in the near future sometime. But, um, what I wanted to share is how to get your windows system, um, to basically uh, like to r route all your, uh, internet traffic through the onion router instead of a VPN, because, uh, VPNs tend to be a lot less, anonymous um, when compared to uh, the onion router. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to the onion router. And if uh, you've ever used Tor, the Tor browser, you would want to download the Tor browser. There's the logo for the Tor browser on the left hand side up there. Um, but I use the Tor browser uh, when I want to be anonymous with browsing. And there's a way you can use the Onion Router network uh, through uh, or for your whole entire PC. So all your traffic is being routed through the Onion uh, Router network. And the way you can easily do that is using Advor, which is uh, basically the advanced Onion Router. And it's very easy to use, actually. So we're going to go to Advor, it's, you could download it here at SourceForge, it's 100% free, 100% op open source, and you download the latest version, click there, you download and go through the installation. Um, I've recently downloaded it already, so, uh, and installed it, so I'm not gonna go and, um, go through the entire installation, but you'll, you'll see how this all works. So it's going to, uh, create a zip file for you, which we don't actually need, but I do want to show the folder. So we're going to minimize this real quick. Um, so I already have it open here and all you got to do is just click here to, uh, set to begin the installation and then what you'll end up having is uh this here so right now i have it running and if i were to disconnect this i would no longer be running but uh what i'm going to show you guys is the very first things that you need to do so once you finish uh with the installation then you're gonna end up uh having to configure this. So um, you want to go to first to bypass ISP filtering and then get yourself some uh, a list of bridges to uh, use to bypass your ISP um, and then uh, click these two check marks here, these boxes here, click those and then uh, save settings and then uh, go to uh, what was it? I think it's system. And then uh, make sure that you have connect automatically, minimize the startup, and start with Windows. Uh, clicked so that basically whenever you start Windows, um, it'll start automatically. And if you uh, did a restart or something like that, you would click in here and you would see that, um, uh, well, you would see the icon, this icon in here, and you could click on that and then you'll see the log and it'll show you that it is uh, currently um, 
starting in this log here. And once you see new bridge descriptor, uh, or not, uh, I'm sorry. Um, what was it? Uh, Tor has successfully opened a circuit. Looks like the client functionality is working. When you see that, uh, and then bootstrap 100% connected to the OR network, you're good. You're good to go. And uh, your all your traffic will be routed through the advanced onion router, and uh, you will be completely anonymous. Well, not entirely anonymous. That's uh, another conversation for another day, but... Um, yeah, you'd be uh, more anonymous than you'd be if you had a commercial VPN service. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe and like this video if you want to see more videos like this. All right. Later.